Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we have to choose two heavy duty fighter jets, it's going to be Boeing's F-15 Eagle and Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI. The Su-30 MKI is a twin-engine multi-role air superiority aircraft which forms the backbone of Indian Air Force. It is more than a fighter and can act like a bomber or a refueler or a mini AWOX. The twin-engine seater fighter is capable of performing various roles such as interceptor, bomber as well as a trainer simultaneously. The aircraft has a maximum flight range of 3000 km with internal fuel. The in-flight refueling system of Su-30 MKI provides its a maximum range of 8000 km with two refuelings. Su-30 MKI is equipped with thrust vectoring control and canards which gives it unmatched maneuverability. It is also equipped with N011M passive electronically scanned array radar, OLS-30 laser optical locator system and lightning target designation pod to guide air to surface missile and laser guided munition. Even though it features a PESA radar, it is still a very powerful and capable of detecting targets under the range of 400 km and can track targets under 200 km range. It is also nicknamed as Mini AWOX due to its effective radar range. The Su-30 MKI is armed with 30mm cannon and 150 rounds of ammunition. The big size of airframe allows the fighter to have 12 hard points for missiles and bombs which can be further increased to 14 by using multiple ejector racks. It has capacity of carrying 8 tons of payload externally. If you look at the Russia-Ukraine ongoing conflict or future conflicts, said or suppression of enemy's air defense system is going to play a major role in gaining the air superiority over the adversaries. To achieve this, the Air Force need long-range standoff weapons that can take out surface-to-air missile defense system from a long standoff distance which will also keep the launching aircraft safe. This is where the combination of Rudra M1 and Su-30 MKI is going to be a nightmare for adversary. The range of Su-30 MKI provides it a capability to strike deep inside the enemy territories. At the same time, Rudra M1 can be launched from a large standoff distance. It can be launched from an altitude of 15 km to 500 meters and has an operational range between 200 to 250 km. Rudra M1 weighs around 600 kg with warhead of 60 kg and has a length of 5.5 meters. One Su-30 MKI can carry six Rudra M1 missile, which means a squadron of fighter can carry 108 Rudra M1 missiles. These many anti-radiation missiles are more than enough to literally wipe out all the surface-to-air missile defense system of Pakistan which is primarily a copy of S-300 SAM made in China. The capability of Pakistan Air Force SAM was also exposed when it was not able to track the flight path of the misfired BrahMos missile into its territory. What makes Rudra M1 a deadly missile is its seeker. It uses GPS or Navic satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance. For guidance in terminal phase, it has MMMW or millimeter wave seeker and passive homing seeker which will home on the radio frequency signal generated by the radar. The passing homing seeker can detect and locate an emitter from 100 km even if the emitter is switched off post the detection. The millimeter wave seeker scans for target even if it is mobile and locks on it for terminal engagement. In summary, Rudra M1 is able to locate and target even mobile surface-to-air missile defense system and the surface-to-air missile system which has stopped emitting the radio frequency signal or switched itself off post its detection. The missile has an impressive circular error probability of just 5 meters. The another most deadly and indigenously developed long standoff weapon 
With Indian Air Force is SAW or Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon. SAW can be integrated on Su-30 MKI hardpoints using a quad rack, each of which can hold four SAW. Su-30 MKI has 12 hardpoints. If we exclude the wingtip pylons and the outermost pylons on each wing, it will have four hardpoints where quad rack can be attached, which can carry a total of 8 by 4 32 saw with them. Imagine the amount of damage one Su-30 MKI can do with this number of saw which has impressive circular error probability of less than 7 meters. Saw is a long-range guided anti-airfield weapon designed to be capable of engaging ground targets with high precision out to a range of 100 kilometers. It can be used to destroy enemy airfield assets such as radars, bunkers, taxi trucks, runways, aircraft hangars and other reinforced structures. It uses INS GPS and Gagan for navigation with a range close to 100 km and release height of 12.8 km, SAW is an impressive standoff weapon. SAW uses different types of seeker for its terminal guidance which includes IIR seeker, electro-optical seeker and dual seeker which includes both IIR and MMW seeker. On 15th December 2021, the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has handed over SAW to Indian Air Force. Besides SAW, Rudra M1, Su-30 MKI is one platform which is host of all indigenously developed or under-development missiles and bombs. We have spoken at numerous occasions about Su-30 MKI and BrahMos combination which is an unmatched capability. Apart from these missiles, Su-30 MKI is also integrated with Garuda, Garutma, PG HSLD, PG GPV, Dumb Bombs and Astra MK1. It can also carry variety of self-production jammer, electronic warfare pods and missile approach warning system on the pylon based adapters. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.